Hey everyone, it's Yejin. Hey, look at this. I'm in this boat with these people. Um, but I don't play in groups or squads or duos. These are just some random people I jumped in the back of the boat in the load-in screen for Arangel. Um, all right. What we're going to talk about today is these compasses. This new thing they've got going, the global treasure hunt, where you can find bronze, silver, and gold compasses around the maps. Um, I focused on Arangel. I decided that this time I actually wanted to play the game, something in the game that wasn't just shooting people. Normally I just shoot people, but here you can see I've got 18 silver, 4 gold, and 25 bronze compasses. Now, you can trade in these compasses for rewards, you know? And so, take a look at what you've got here. Now, I normally don't care about this stuff. I do not care what clothes my character is wearing for the most part. I'm playing PUBG Mobile, not Fortnite. I think a lot of this stuff is silly and I don't spend any money on the game. But, sometimes I'll get the free stuff that you can earn. Because earning it's fun and it is kind of cool to have earned items. So here we see what we can actually earn. For every 20 bronze compasses, you can get one of these scraps. Classic crate coupon scrap. Um... That seems like a lot, honestly. Uh, let's go down below. You can get a uh, Thrill Ride BP crate. That's just going to give you BP. It's like one-to-one -one on the compasses. I guess if you need BP, that's cool. And you got to do something with them anyway, but it's not terribly exciting. Originally, I got a bunch of those. I'll cash them in later. Here we go. The Silver Plate Vector. Six gold compasses will get you that skin. That's pretty cool. And then for the Silver Compasses, you've got these two outfits. Now, let's take a look. This is the Piglet set. You will never catch me wearing this unless I have taken this off an opponent that I have killed in order to taunt them. This is not what I want to do in this game. It's just not me. So, fun, I guess. Let's see what the next one. For 20 silver compasses, you can get this hooligan set. Now, this is more my speed. It's still a dumb costume, but, you know, it's got kind of a Mad Max, like, literally like the first movie, like, female toe cutter kind of vibe going on here and I dig that like I mean I've got to do something with these compasses anyway I'm going to be trying to get the gold so I guess if I get the 20 silver I'll get this outfit and that'll be cool um it won't make me play better but it's something to go for and I definitely need to get that skin for the gun here's something else you can go down to Arangel Adventure Compass and you can get crates just for collecting a certain number of them it's just a way to get some more BP you might as well do it I went ahead and got another BP crate for collecting compasses, whatever. So let's get through here. We see everything that we're going to go for. So what I thought I would do today is show all of the physical locations where these compasses appear on Arangel. And I chose Arangel because it's easiest, I think, to travel around in a vehicle and get as many in one match as you can. So the first one here is Ferry Pier. I'm going to speed it up so we can get down there. And as we're coming in, over by this little tower, you can see like a weird little circle on the ground. That's what these things look like. They don't always appear. It's randomized. Usually there's like, I think, four on a map, I'm guessing. So you excavate it and you get a compass. It's that simple. Now, so what I've been doing is just dropping in and kind of playing a game. I was calling it Rabbit. Essentially... You know, you can't help but pick stuff up when you run over it, but I wasn't shooting anyone or doing anything to try to win the game or get kills or anything like that. I'm just trying to find compasses. So we go real quickly over here to mill to power. There's a tree underneath this uh, tall tower, and there it is. Of all of them, this is the one that I found the least often, but I did get it, got myself a silver compass, was able to show you where it is. Okay, moving on to the prison. This is from the very top high end of the prison. I'll, I'll look around so you can see here in a minute. Most of you that are familiar with the map know where this is, but uh, there you go. It's right next to this little guard tower thing up above the big building at the end of prison. And, yeah, dig there and move on. Ruins is kind of hard to find. You go to the highest point in ruins, but then you have to run around the back of this old, whatever this is, this old tower. Jump over this and look back in this spot. I've heard people describe it as their secret hiding spot. 
and you'll find it in there. It's probably the most hidden of these circles in the game that I've found so far. So there it is, and you can move on. Okay, so another one of the spots, there's 10 that I've found altogether. Another one of the spots is up by that radio tower at the highest point near the military base. It's between military base and Novo. So you're going to want to go up there, have enough fuel to make the trip. I've been picking up uh, gas cans. Don't fall off. Picking up gas cans along the way so I can boost everywhere. So just to look around to show you where this is, there's the bridge. You guys get a sense of where you're at. There used to be a little another little picnic area up here, but that's gone, I think, as they've added these. So at the base of this, pick up a compass and go. Try to move on to your next spot on the map if you can. All right, shooting range. There is a spot near shooting range. We'll fly down there and uh, take a look at it. Speed it up. This one is interesting. And it answers a question. Someone was asking online, I saw, is there only one per game? Can multiple people get compasses out of the same spot? And this answers that question. I decide I'll land, but then I'll walk up here and kind of do the view so people understand exactly where in relation to shooting range this spot is. And there's another player running in. So we both get there at the same time. And look at that. There's a bronze compass and a golden compass. We're seeing what's been put there for both players in the same spot. I get the golden compass, so I luck out. And then uh, this player's probably going to go get a weapon, so I decide I better run away. Plus, you know, they're shooting. Let's, let's get out of here. If I can survive and find a vehicle, I can maybe go to another spot. And I did survive and find a vehicle. So the next spot that we'll go to is uh, all the way up here at the plane wreck. Now... An easy way to get to the plane wreck that I figured out is you look for these autumn colored trees. You look for these orange trees. There's four right around the plane. It's at the top of the hill on this far side. And it's surrounded by these trees. And here I'll show you. Here's the spot. But before I do it, I'm going to look around. This is up from shooting range. And there's one. There's an orange one, there's an orange one, and there's an orange one. The plane's right in the middle. It's almost like they did it on purpose. You can see those trees from a distance. So drive that direction and head up to those trees, and you'll find the spot and get a compass. Now right, let's move on. The next spot, and I got these three compasses in one game. I'm still on the same motorcycle ride. At least I think so. Maybe I'm lying. I, I don't think I am. I think this is the same deal. So, there's a tower up there. Come up here. This is between Roshawk and the school. And look, someone's already been there. There's a compass there, and I have a friend. Oh, I gotta get away. I gotta get in this motorcycle and get away. I got my compass. Now let's see if I can keep going. Survive in a... Wait, why didn't I get on? Come on. Let me go. Oh, boy. Am I gonna make it? Oh. Oh, I think I did make it. I'm going to tell you a secret. I, I didn't make it. Um, okay. The next spot up on the hill, all the way up at Stauber, where there's a bunch of ruins that have been excavated. Actually, I don't know if these have been excavated, but there's stuff all over the place. There's been people here. You go into these two temple-like areas. There's one. You head out, I guess, north, the north one. And right in the middle of that one, you're going to find another one of the spots for compasses. Now, I had seen, I'm doing this because I had seen people marking on a map, like the general areas where these things were, but like the actual physical locations, they always kind of, they always kind of spawn right in the same general area. So you'll find them. Okay. Last one. I'm in the blue. If I can just get through here. And not get hung up, I might actually be able to make the spot at the quarry. And I've got nothing else to do in this game. I've collected everything that's within the circle. I figured I'm going to run for a quarry, see if I can get there before I'm dead. Another couple of gold compasses, and I'm going to get that. Uh, I'm going to get that skin for the gun. Oh wait, no, this has got to end it for me. This can't be good. Come on now. All right, so 
I figure I don't have much of a shot. And I'm not looking at my, I'm looking at my mini map. I'm not pulling up the map to figure out the exact, you know, way to go. And I didn't mark it ahead of time. So I've kind of messed up a little bit. But then I realized, no, no, you're, you're off. I think it's, yeah, it's to the right. Maybe I do have enough health to get there. Okay. I like the buggies for this one because they can kind of hug the wall when you're shooting in here. Now, if I make any mistake at all, I'm done and I'm not going to make it. So I've just got to hope I drive this buggy as well as possible through this. Don't make any mistakes. Don't go off the edge. You're going to need to jump off and get this thing. That was almost a, uh, uh, okay. I lucked out. You go over to this bridge, the wooden bridge in quarry, jump down. There's a hollowed out space and there is, there it is right there. Okay. All right. And then there's nothing I can do now except uh, try some emotes, which is another thing I never do. Um, let's see what I can do here. How does it work? Um, oh, maybe I'll blow you a kiss. Oh, yeah. Oh, I thought I timed it right. Blow a kiss and then die. Blow a kiss and then die. Okay. That's fine. <laughs> okay. So basically now I need to find a silver... And I need to find two gold compasses. So I'm just going to uh, show you my final runs here. I land. And lo and behold, a golden compass. So I got one more golden compass and one more silver. You know, when you dig these things out, it leaves you in a crouching position. And that leaves you pretty vulnerable. So if you can get in the habit of hitting that crouch button as soon as you have your compass, it's going to help you run away from enemies and keep going. It's a little helpful reminder. Okay, came up again, another game, came up in a buggy, and again, found the spot, excavated, and got a silver compass. So I am in good shape now. If I can just get a golden compass, I'm done. I can redeem these things and stop playing this, uh, this rabbit version of the game where I run around. And just try to get compasses. I can get back to killing people. And doing my weekly kills like I normally do. Alright. Is it here? It's here. And what's in it? Golden compass. I'm done. I'm absolutely done. Thank you. Yes, applause for everyone. Okay, let's blow a kiss. And let's be done with it. Let's go back to the screens. There we go. I've got six golden compasses, 24 silver, and 33 bronze. I got everything I needed. I actually had a few extra silver when it was all said and done. Let's open these uh, Thrill Ride BP crates. Yay, BP. All right. So let's do this. Let's cash these things in. All right. Let's do it. Redeem. Got it. And... I've achieved the achievement Art Curator 1. What is this? Oh, own permanent weapon finishes times 5. I didn't know I had 5. I thought I had 3. So, because I don't pay much attention to it. And I got a coupon. So that's cool. That'll be another crate later. Maybe I'll get something else I can wear. Yeah, I don't know. Collect some of these things. It's part of the game I don't pay much attention to, but... Okay. Let's see, what are we going to... Next thing we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and get this outfit. Very exciting. 20 silver compasses, and now I have it. Yay. We'll get ourselves a coupon scrap. I'll get us something someday. And then we'll go and we'll, we'll cash in these, uh, these other bronze ones. Because what else are we going to do with them? Yeah, that's what we get. That's a possible we can get, but let's do it. Max? No, I'll just do it by hand up to 13. Redeem. Yeah, I got those crates. Okay, so now we'll go to my inventory and see what this looks like. Let's open up these BP crates because they're just going to sit there and be annoying. So we'll open them all up, 13 of them. Yay, I got a bunch of BP that I can spend on whatever later. Who knows, maybe someday there'll be something really good to do with that stuff. I think I've got everything out of the crates. Everything out of the crates you can get for BP that I want. So here's the outfit. That's not so bad. And it's not, I still like, I think I still like my default outfit better, the one that I had put on. But yeah, let's let's see what it looks like with my, uh, 
with my vector. Put my vector skin on it. That's kind of sick. You know, I worked hard for this goal. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it like this for a while. Kind of happy with it. Does look kind of cool. I don't know. I'm not used to my character looking this way. So, <sighs> so that's it. Anyway, I hope that was helpful. I hope if you were looking for these locations and wanted to see where they actually were, I hope you found this helpful and you're going to be able to go out and find these compasses for yourself. I do not know about the other maps. I might do them, but I have what I want. I think that might be a waste of time. So until the next <laughs> weird challenge like this, uh, I'll probably just go back to playing my normal game. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. Hope you've had a good time. Good luck out there. Thank you.